Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Let's Really Ghost Thief 2. Today's mission is eavesdropping. It's another one that shouldn't present us with too many problems. It's not quite possible to supreme ghost it, but you can get very close, just like you could in so many other missions. It is quite possible to perfect thief it, so that's what we're going to set out to do. Here I'll load up the end mission save from Ambush. I'll skip the two movies. They've both been put on the playlist. That's right, there are two movies. One cutscene and then the briefing. Now let's look at our objectives. The Keeper's tips are your best lead, so you'd better be at the door to overhear the Sheriff's conversation. It should start when the church bells toll midnight. You'll need to stay close to the door to ensure you hear every word. The Mechanist Seminary was once a Hammerite Cathedral, so there's bound to be plenty of trinkets lying about. Steal at least 1,200 in loot. Killing is the mark of an amateur. Don't kill anyone. Once you're done, get back out by heading to the front gate. Now, let me say this. The safety deposit box key, which we will ultimately end up having to find, can be in one of ten places. One of those ten possibilities, and only one, makes ghosting the mission impossible. So there is a one in ten chance that we will have to restart based on where the key turns up. I will, therefore, go almost straight to the conversation and listen in so I can restart as soon as possible and lose as little effort as possible. With that said, let's begin. Skip purchases, as always, totally unnecessary. And let's look at the map. We've got a pretty nice detailed map of the seminary. Here we have level one, we see the open towers, the front gates, the chapel, the pulpit, acolytes quarters, guard barracks, meeting hall. Listen at one of these two doors. Then the note page. Level 2, just towers and a storage shed. This is actually the roof of the Acolyte and Guard Quarters and Meeting Hall. It doesn't really tell you that. And then level 3 of the chapel. There's really just the towers and the other building doesn't have a third level. And then we've also got a map of the basement where there are catacombs, a stairway to the chapel, a workshop, and a stairway to an anteroom. Now, this mission does have one very important feature. It features what I believe are the game's only two actual hammer haunts, which is a shame because hammer haunts are such an awesome monster. But they're here, they're down in the catacombs, we'll see them in a bit. But first things first, let's go listen to the conversation f immediately, figure out where the safety deposit box key is so we know whether we have to restart. Um. Let me point out immediately that on the s middle level of the two towers are a couple of archers. They do both pivot, and it's actually pretty hard to get to either side of the building without an alert from them. You have to move very carefully. Uh, I'm going to go east first. If we go west, there's a conversation that triggers three different patrollers that'll make things a lot more complicated, so I'm going to avoid triggering that conversation until after everything else is done. Then I'll go over there just to listen to it on my way out. <coughs> just carefully creep like a boss and you shouldn't really have any problems. I guess I'll just go ahead and say that the one location that makes ghosting impossible is the pulpit. If the key is in the pulpit itself, we can't ghost the mission. Any of the other nine, ghosting works just fine. If you're, if you're strategic about timing conversations, you can make this mission very easy for yourself, which is what I'm out to do. Just work your way around the outside of the building, being careful of all the metal walkways and staying out of the light. Is 
there are plenty of archers up on the second level, up on the roof, that'll see you and ruin your day. I'm skipping everything right now and just heading straight to the conversation. In case you were wondering. Now as we approach the cemetery, you will hear hammer haunt noises. Don't be alarmed. They're just noises. There's not actually anything there. And here we go. We can listen right here. Better not disturb them. I can hear them eating just fine from out here. One funny thing, I think at least, the very first time I played this mission, when Karis mentioned that an un most unfortunate gutter snipe was waiting just outside, I thought he was on to me, and I panicked and ran away from the door, and ended up failing the mission because I missed the conversation. He's not talking about you when he says that. Behold, Sheriff Truett, from the lowly street rat emerges the loyal worker, that which I call the servant. This is one of the tramps I delivered to you? The transformation is spectacular. And neither want nor worry has he. Lucky fellow. <laughs> Strange you should mention worries, Garrus, because I do have one. It's not that the money's not right, no, it's just that I need to be convinced you've taken the proper precautions. The truant name is untainted by scandal, and I will not be the one to bring it humiliation and ruin. Trust thee in me, for it is the Builder himself who guides me, and the Baron need never know. Yes, I'm glad your Builder guides you, but it would make me feel even more confident if you were to let me in on your whole scheme. Come now, what's the crux of it all, eh, Garrus? Show me what's so special about your new servants. Ah, uh, it is impossible to hide anything from you, good Sheriff. I will give the full explanation then, in the form of... a uh, demonstration? The visual in this instance would far surpass any verbal elaborations I could relate, but I must ask thee to step away from the masked servant, that's right. And meanwhile, I will retrieve our volunteer, a most unfortunate gutter snipe who waits just outside. Come, come, gentle beggar, and stand be just there, next to the masked man. Yes. Now, all is in readiness, so keep thine eyes on the new arrival, whilst I signal the servant, thusly. My word! The mask emits a red vapor! Continue thy observations, Truett. But it consumes them! We are in peril! Fear me not, Stag Sheriff, for we are safe at this distance. See, already the reaction ceases. They are gone! And what remains in their stead? Sand? No. Rust. Indeed, tis very much like rust and harmless once settled. Brother Fegan, I pray thee, do sweep up what is left of those two. Yes. A weapon, then! Quite fantastic and monstrous. Of course, you'll keep these servants you're making away from me and my men. Thou need not even ask. Then we are in agreement. You need subjects for your servant project. And I can supply them. Vagabonds, street scum, prostitutes. Those who will not be missed by anyone of consequence. They'll be rounded up, charges invented, etc. Still, there's always risk. So I will give you 20, no more. For your part, you'll remember to keep our transactions absolutely secret. And of course, deliver my payment in advance, in full, tomorrow. I don't trust you, Karis. So you'll receive the subjects only after I confirm the payment. Well, our business here is finished. Yes. Fairly well, Twitch. 
Now see, friends, with the builder's efficiency, I have completed two tasks with but one effort. Firstly, I did secure 20 subjects to be transformed into servants, as you heard. And secondly, I secured the loyalty of the wary Sheriff Stuart. Yes, his loyalty. Stuart <laughs> fears scandal. Yet his actions of late could bring him that or worse, if ever made public. Now, behold my wax cylinder machine. I've used it to capture the sheriff's very words, even as they moved through the air today. Hawking friends. And I can supply them. Vagabonds, street scum, prostitutes, those who will not be missed by anyone of consequence. With his voice thus preserved, Truett dare not betray me or he'll have the scandal he fears so much. Brother Fagan, thou wilt see to it that this wax cylinder machine gets safely to the bank on the morrow. You will find the safety deposit box key in the East Tower. Friends, we are adjourned. Return now to your duties. I'd like to get a copy of that key myself. The East Tower works just fine, so we're good to go. With that, I'll make a real save, and we'll really get started. Do be careful, there is a patroller who comes out here. You might have heard him during the conversation. We'll start off by getting two gold hammers off of these gravestones. There's one right here, worth 75. The other's over here. Another 75 brings our total to 150. Continue around the southern edge of the monastery for now. Make sure you approach these two crypts from the south side simply because you have to be careful of triggering the conversation off to the west. That is not something we want to do. You can see the robot and the two mechanists standing still over there. If they start moving, you've made things a lot harder on yourself. So in the western crypt, in the chest, there's another gold hammer. Brings our total to 225. And then... In the Eastern Crypt, not only are there three coins just stuck on the floor, if I can find them. Ah, yes, here they are. Let's bring our total to 274. But back here, there's a ladder down into the catacombs, which we'll go ahead and clear. In this first room, open the footlocker. Oh, it's empty. I'm sorry. Hammer haunt! There are two of those badasses down here. Just as scary as ever. Ah, oh, yes. This blue chest has another gold hammer in it. Brings our total to 349. So then, just keep following the haunt. Careful not to trigger any first alerts. Head back into this room. The far foot locker has some copper coins in it, which bring our total to 354. Now, he doesn't come back here. You want to wait for him to head back out towards the ladder. And slip in behind him. First, go straight. Get a goblet out of this footlocker, which brings our total to 379. Then in here, ignore the room to the right. That takes you to the lab, which has another conversation we want to avoid. Because both of its members start patrolling in the chapel. And we want to clear the chapel with as few patrollers as possible. So instead, head to the north. Open that chest for a necklace, which brings our total to 579. And then you can really just follow the haunt on his loop. So, north, 
I think north. Yes, north of the necklace, there's a statue on a table. Brings our total to 594. Move through these dark rooms. There's another passage upstairs to the chapel, which we're going to ignore. But on the casket near the chapel is yet another gold hammer. Brings our total to 669. And then adjacent to that, next to the skeleton, you can find a purse, which brings our total to 719. <clears throat> and that's it. That's it for the catacombs. So now we just need to sneak back to the crypts where we came in. Pretty straightforward. Really, it's probably best to wait until you see the haunt and follow it out. They fixed one... Oops. They fixed one oversight in Thief 2 that was always strange to me. Namely, that... You may recall in Thief Gold, the Hammer Haunts, ostensibly the spirits of dead Hammerites, you'll remember, were carrying swords. But in this one, they carry hammers. Now wait for him to head back into the torture chamber and then slip out of the catacombs behind him. All right. Up the ladder we go. And we're done. So we'll put these crates back where they were. I wouldn't want the mechanist to think the crypts had been disturbed. I remember slip out on the southern edge to avoid triggering the conversation over there. I'm going to loot the Acolyte and Guard Quarters next. So follow this guy into the chapel. Well, into the seminary, not the chapel. Who's there? Who goes? Okay, have to wait a little bit longer. I'll do a real save with the catacombs clear. That seems like a another good milestone. So just watch whichever room he goes into and start with the other one. Actually, start by running into this hallway and grabbing that purse. Then I'll head into the guard quarters. Go down, get down these stairs, and first locate some reading material. Master Gasper, thy name was mentioned to our Lord Karis as one who might be welcoming to the future. Perhaps thou hast heard of the mechanists, but thou may be confusing us with our hoary forebears, the hammers. Where they spurned thou and thy kind, the mechanists embrace those with a voice in the city's future. Perhaps thou might attend a sermon at Angel Watch. There be many wonders we would be happy to show thee in our workshops, friend Tickspring. Then, as you move back here, you can find a vase, 
which brings our total to 794. And this is the first of 10 possible spots for the key. This is where you'll find it if Kara said it's in the guard quarters. Now slip into the dark passage between the two rooms. Halfway through it, make sure you look down to the west and get that box of coins, which brings our total to 894. Now move into the Acolyte's quarters, a second possible location for the key. Karis will say the Acolyte's quarters. And then upstairs in here, find three goblets on the shelf, bringing the total to 939. Now we'll wait for him to go back outside. I'm gonna bounce downstairs really quick just to grab a statue. I'm just killing time. You can do this later when you're on your way to the lab. Don't trigger the conversation in the lab yet. Save that for the end. But under these stairs, you can find a statue which brings your total to 954. And then you can congratulate yourself because not only are the catacombs clear, but you have everything from the basement. So I'll wait for him to be sufficiently clear, then I'll head back outside. Do take care to be quiet, the woman on the roof can certainly hear you as you move back through the graveyard around the way you initially came. This is another mission that's programmed to be extremely dark. Again, I'm sure that you're having some trouble seeing it. The only consolation I can offer you is that I'm having just as much trouble. I can only see the places where they put lights while I'm playing. I think they programmed it that way. Anyway, as you move through this little tunnel, now that I know we can ghost, open up this door into this crypt and only bother with the left chest. It's got another gold hammer in it, which brings our total to 1,029. The right chest just has a junk hammer that all you can do is throw or drop to make noise. Now, continue back the way we came at the beginning. Stay out of the light and be quiet. Now, you can't get this loot nor can you get the one secret in the mission if you are worried about uh, Supreme. Because picking either door triggers a first alert from the servant. But I certainly want to get the one secret. So... Strange. I wonder what kind of work the mechanists do here. One thing I should also mention. You might have noticed in the catacombs north of the torture chamber there was a dead mechanist. On his belt is a red key, which is one of the possible safety deposit box keys. It's also worth noting that, as always, anything on a body that's already dead is included in the pickpocket total as something we automatically fail. So the key on the mechanist is one, the purse on this corpse is another, brings our total to 1,054. So that's two of the four pickpockets in the stats, which we won't be able to get. Combine that with the ever-present Thief 2 bug, which means even though the stats say four, there's only one pickpocket in the mission. So with that in mind, let's get the mission's one secret to the left of the east door, you can find a lever. Hitting it opens this floor panel. That is the mission's only secret. 
Slide down silently. I could really learn to hate these guys. Oh, you will, Garrett. The only thing down here, if you lean forward towards the bodies, next to their next to one of their hands, you can find one of those tiny rings, which brings our total to eleven fifty-four. I forgot to let go of the mantle key in time. Oh gee, you're killing me, Smalls. There we go. Close it behind us. And the awesome thing to note now is that we're done with all the loot outside the seminary. So, I think the next thing to do is go ahead and tackle the chapel, which is the hardest part of this mission. But it's not that bad if you know how to do it. Find that. Oops, I clanked, clanked on the metal. So head east, back out of this servant lab. Oh no, I got a disappeared door. I s definitely don't want that. So. The way to keep that from happening is just to kind of open and shut as you work your way out. I screwed up. You just can't let it get all the way open because that's when it disappears. Oh, Garrett, 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 you're killing me, buddy. Alright, good. We're clear of the door. Now we'll shut it. As I was saying, uh, properly tackling the chapel involves taking advantage of a conversation that happens the first time you walk in. So, let me get my map out and describe what's going to happen. We're going to come in through this door in the southeast. When we walk in, the two guards who are currently in the chapel, and there should only be two because we haven't triggered any of the other conversations, will walk to the center and start talking to each other. While they're talking, we need to move in along this wall until we're directly behind the pulpit. Then the one who's facing the front will block the view of the one who's facing to the south, and we can move up to the pulpit and get the four pieces of loot. It's also worth noting, of course, that the pulpit is one of the potential sites for the key. Once we have those four pieces of loot, ideally, before the conversation ends, we need to get to this corner. When they split, one of them will turn around and walk back towards the front, and the other will turn and walk to the west wall. He will then turn south until he stations himself at this corner and permanently faces the pulpit without moving. While they're moving, we need to get out to the pews and grab a fifth piece of loot, and then we need to get back to safety before any of them see us. All of this is dependent on their conversation. Once they get back to their stationary posts, it becomes impossible to ghost the chapel. This is also why if the key turns out to be at the pulpit, it's impossible to ghost the mission, because you have to bring the key back to the pulpit, which you won't be able to do. So, let's go take care of the chapel now. That we are armed with knowledge I think I walked too far. 
Or rather, I got confused about where I wanted to go in. You can get to the chapel that way, but... If you've already cleared the Acolyte and Guard Quarters like we have, there's an easier way to do it. There we go, yes. Head back west through the tunnel until you're on the west side of the lab. I should have just exited the lab to the west. Then, head into this door. Ooh. Well, I don't think I suffered for that, which is good. Alright. Get ready to move. Here we go. Dost thou know whether the Sheriff hath arrived? The Sheriff? What dost he hear? In Karis' name, man, hast thou been stuffing leaves in thine ears? Hast thou not heard about the meeting? Oh, the meeting... Psalm 13, when thou art born, when thou art born, thou art blind and weak and squalling. So is the ore, weak and crumbling when it is pulled from the earth. Stoke thy forge and burn away all impurity. These mechanists are just as bad as the hammers. I had forgotten that today was the date. Fa! and thou hast no idea what I speak on. Thou must learn to pay more attention, lest thee find thyself fallen by the wayside as the future passes thee by. <laughs> Lord Karras, your sermon was so inspiring, I never thought of it that way. To be a little cog floating around in a big boiler, so warm and toasty, you see. Please accept my compliments, and do tell me you will come to the dinner we are having on Saturday, Lady Einhorn. Hmm. What shadow passed my view? <laughs> what noise then? What softly so. so as you can see... Clotremus says that he's managed to avoid even first alerts there. I've tried this a few times. I have never been able to avoid a first alert. But you can at least successfully ghost this spot if you go about it that way. So, at the conclusion of your chapel looting activities, five pieces of loot, four at the pulpit, plus the TR in the pews, your loot total should be 1444. You also saw the potential safety deposit box key in the pulpit itself. Is that thou, friend? Was nothing then? The drums in my ears do over their sprung. Should be able to creep back here. <clears throat> I'm triggering some unnecessary first alerts. I do apologize for that, but. Like I said, I have never been able to clear the chapel without first alerts. I believe Clotremus when he says it's possible, but... Considering you can't perfect Supreme the mission anyway... And in fact, you can't Supreme the mission anyway for reasons that will become clear... I'm not too worried about it. Now... We also need to get into the west of the two storage closets. That's pretty easy to do, if you just use the western pillar itself as hard cover. Another thing that you definitely want to do before you trigger any patrols. This closet is another potential spot for the key, and although this looks like junk, in this mission, it's a piece of loot. It's only worth 10, brings our total to 1454. But it's loot, so we need it. So with all that done, you want to sneak back to the back wall using the western closet as cover, and then creep over to these shadows. You can then use these shadows to creep up until you can use the eastern pillar as hard cover.
And then with that, it's a simple matter to get to this door and get back outside once again. By the way, I didn't make note of this, but a while ago we hit our loot objective in addition to completing the listen objective. And we added an objective too. Find the deposit box key and make an impression of it in wax. So creep back out, being careful of the metal. I was not careful enough of the metal. Now we want to head back to where we did our eavesdropping. That's going to be our way into the upper levels of the seminary. As long as you're careful about triggering patrols, the chapel is the only tough part of this mission, and even then, if you know to take advantage of the conversation, it's not tough. But, if you don't know to take advantage of the conversation and you trigger a bunch of patrols, sneaking around this mission can be damn near impossible. So being wary of the patroller who does venture out here, we just want to mantle up onto this little roof here, and then up here to the second floor. What's that? Okay. I was worried about that, so... What you're gonna wanna do then is... This floor is perfectly soft. So you can keep an eye on the roof patroller. Just wait until her back is turned. And then we'll move up there. So I'll note that that storage shed in front of us right now is another place where you can where you can have to get the key. Now this chest right here brings our total to 1479. Over in this corner is a goblet. This is the southwest corner. Brings our total to 1494. If you wait for her, if you wait here for her to turn her back, you can get into the storage shed and get the two pieces of loot there. Oh, Garrett's become confused about something. Hold on. Let me try and fix my controls. Uh, I had this same bug in ambush. What is going on here? There we go. Fixed it. Inside the storage shed, in addition to the potential key, there is a bottle of wine and a statue, which bring your total to 1559. I'll wait for her to leave this area again, and then we'll access the second floor through that door right in front of us, to the west. Now you want to wait in this shadow because there's a patroller who walks clockwise around the entire second level. But you also see that stationary archer over there. I'm gonna try to creep forward and nab this statue, which brings my total to 1574. Huh? Is that the Dang. Okay. Never mind, I'm just gonna wait for the patroller. Well, no, I'm not. Hold on. I'm going to close the door behind me, because I can still get to the shadow, even with the... Well, no, I don't think I can. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna wait for the patroller to pass by. Because I do need to close the door behind me when I creep up to get that statue. It is a good long patrol, but if she catches you trying to creep around out here, there's not a lot you can do about it. And you see, there she comes now. So she's going to come back. She's going to patrol all the way down here, and then turn and head into that office further west of us. That's fine and dandy. Keeping track of the archer behind us, and I think this is going to be timed very near very near to perfect. We'll creep out into this room and shut the door behind us, knowing that we have a good time window. Not quite perfect, but pretty darn close. Now we can shut that door behind us, creep out and get this statue. Brings our total to 1574. Then you want to creep to the table in the corner. Just hug the edge all the way around as you carefully creep to the office. had just enough time to do it. Now the office is dark. I'm going to turn the light on real quick just to orient us. On this table, another potential key, as well as two bottles of wine, which bring our total to 1674, some reading material. Lord Karras, I, I write to you on behalf of my lord, who is much intrigued with your services to other nobility. I am given to understand that your favors are reserved for those who please the Mechanist Tower. My lord desires to do so, but he is concerned that his gifts may be incorrect or perhaps misdelivered. Please let me know by messenger if I can do aught to advise him. Jerome of the House Thorburn. Now, she's almost here, so I'm going to drop this letter and turn the light off real quick. Just hide in the southwest corner and she should pass through here with no trouble. Once she passes, we can turn the lights back on. You'll see here on the north side of the room, a ladder takes you up to another level, which is just a bedroom. The chest has another necklace, brings our total to 1874, and more reading on the desk. Karis, I received your note. I think you worry too much. I shall be there in good time for our meeting, assuming that your loyal disciples are willing to let me all the way into your meeting hall this time. There is much work to be done between now and tomorrow at, tw at 12, so leave me in peace until then. Gorman Truer, Sheriff. Now, I don't actually know what's farther up. Let me take a look real quick. The answer is nothing. Okay, good. Then all the way down the ladder... Oh, goodness, Garrett. Oh, goodness. There we go. Turn the light off. Head out the west door. Shut it. 
There's no stationary guard on this side. Make sure to grab the other statue, which brings your total to 1889. And then, we want to head all the way across. Just be wary of the guard across the way. Although it's a little easier this time because you can use the pillars as hard cover. So you only have to really worry about creeping in certain little windows. Yeah, she saw us there, see? Move too fast again. That's okay. Move too fast again. I'm in a bit of a hurry just because the other patroller, I think, is closing in. If someone be there, then we speak thyself. But I got in too much of a hurry that time. Anyway, we're we're coming up on the west tower. As you saw, there's a stationary guard in there who can make trouble for us if she's uh What's that there? So inclined, which Seems like she might be, which could put us in a real pickle. Hello? Reveal Turn around, woman! This is a serious problem. We're gonna have to take another first alert. Oh, no we're not. Good. Grab the candlestick in here. Brings your total to 1939. And then you can bounce down to the first level. As long as you don't make noise, no one will come in here. Down in the first level, there's a purse on the table. Brings your total to 1989. Now I'm going to wait here for the patroller to come through. Now you can get high enough to look at this stationary archer without being seen. So she's facing this way now, so we need to wait for her to turn, and then get up to the top level. Come on, lady, turn! Aren't you supposed to be guarding the streets anyway? 